So we've had uh, all the girls over the last 12 weeks training for their finale fight. Um, they've all come a really, really long way and we're really proud of them. When they started, most of them didn't have much of a background in any sort of martial arts, so we just started them with fundamental skills. A couple of girls did have, have some base skills, but we had to make sure that everyone was well-rounded. Um, so we've brought them along over the week, starting with basics, to the point where now they all seem really confident in their skill set and um, they're, they're going to be ready to step in the cage. Hi, my name is Dee, I'm 46 years old. My name's Lisa, I'm 43 years old. Hi, my name's Maggie Cummins, I'm 34. Hi, I'm Christy, I'm 32. I'm Hayley Cherry, I'm 26 years old. My name's Natasha, I'm 26 years old. My name is Zara, I'm 24. My name is Christy Ann Ryder, I'm 22. My name is Louise Van Imogen, I am 20 years of age. So for the conditioning training for the girls, we've been training them all as if they were going to fight, regardless of whether they're planning to or not. Uh, getting them into their fighting condition. So it's all around general fitness, um, lifting their cardio fitness, a bit of base strength to start with as well. Um, everything they need the, to get through a fight in the cage. Um, I'm doing the 12 week challenge because my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer last year um, and all the charities going towards that. So, and I love, ever since then I've been doing things to try and raise money for breast cancer. So what motivated me to uh, take part in the 12 week MMA experience uh, was basically the training and uh, the once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean it's not every day we get into a cage and fight another person. Uh, so yeah, I just thought the fun of that and the training and, and meeting other people would be fantastic. Um, the person that motivated me to get into the Pink MMA Challenge was Damo from the HMA Arena and the fact that I'm here with my sister. So. When I saw an ad for the Pink MMA Challenge, I knew it was something I had to do. I knew it would be something that would strengthen me as a, as a person. And it was also something I knew would help me in my weight loss journey. At November last year, I was 150 kilos. I'm now down to 90. It's been a fantastic challenge. I've always been an athlete and enjoyed various types of training. And because my partner has had a full life of MMA, I was really interested to try MMA training for myself. So some of them are just doing it purely for the fitness, um, but as most of them have told you that yeah, once they get into it and they really enjoy it, then they start to get into the fighting side of it more. When I was 20 I used to be able to run around and not even stretch before I did any sort of physical activity, but I'm finding now as um, you know, I'm getting a bit older it's uh, a little bit more difficult to get going in the mornings, uh, so I guess managing just the little stuff as it happens along the way. The most challenging thing in the last 12 weeks has been Trying to learn stuff that I've never done before and not being too scared to try it. The most challenging part of the training has been definitely getting up at 6 in the morning or earlier to be here at 6 in the morning. The 12 week Pink MMA challenge has taught me that I'm stronger than I think and I can accomplish anything. Um, I guess I've learnt that I'm, I'm still able to do it. I'm still able to get in there and give it a go. Um, I sort of had a mindset that those days were past and I wouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff anymore. But um, yeah, I've learnt that I can still get in there and mix it up and you know, do the physical things. I've learned a lot about myself in the last 12 months, but in the last 12 weeks uh, I've learnt a lot in terms of uh, self-defence self and, and learning to take punches from friends in the cage. So uh, overcoming that is, uh, is a massive hurdle, but uh, I'm slowly getting there. I would definitely recommend uh, MMO training to other women because I believe that all women should have adequate self-defence skills and it's a lot of fun and good experience. Um, yeah, I would recommend any girl to do the next challenge. Um, you get it. I started this saying that I wasn't going to fight, but after two weeks of training, I fell in love with it and knew that I was going to fight. It's motivating, it's fun, and you make a lot of friends, and the trainers are great. I would recommend the MMA training to other women uh, to get them to try something different other than just going to the gym and to try it and learn new things. Yeah, look, I would definitely recommend MMA training to other ladies. Uh, more so the uh, self self defence side of things. I mean, I've learned a lot, so uh, you know, I'm a little bit more confident. You know, when I'm walking around the streets, knowing that if someone was to come up and attack me, I could uh, you know MMA them. Uh, but uh, yeah, look, it's 
you know, it's the fun as well, it's the fitness. I mean, you know, we do strength and conditioning as well. Um, so just everything, a part of, uh, you know, that's a part of MMA. It's a fantastic experience. This experience has changed my life. It's given me the tips in training and nutrition that I need. Uh, since starting 11 weeks ago, I've lost 16 kilos. So they're gonna be skills that I keep for life and keep improving my health and fitness. Definitely recommend it. I don't think the MMA has made anything life-changing, whereas I always, I've always trained my whole life. Um, sport and fitness is a massive part of who I am. I think what I'm going to take away from this is a great experience, some good friends, um, and I would love to continue doing this into the future. Yeah. The life-changing moments are actually going to happen on the night, when I actually step into that cage and all my fears will be with me and it will be about facing my fears and completely stepping out of my comfort zone. That I'm looking forward to because on the other side of that is where the growth is. Uh, life changing patterns, I think it's important to challenge yourself as you go through life and this has definitely been a challenge for me. Um, when my mum was 43 she was diagnosed with cancer. When I turned 43 I um, spent my 43rd birthday on the mat wrestling with these girls. So I think that um, it's really the challenge of the experience is what it's taught me and you know stepping into that cage is no uh, small thing. Uh, you're in front of your family, your friends and strangers, some of who will be cheering for you and some of who will be cheering against you um, and just getting up there and facing your fears is what I think it will, will definitely change my life.